So what do you do when you've got multiple messages or multiple ideas for your strategy, but you need to get it down to one? Um, I want to tell you that I'm also have blown up my office and doing a bit of redecoration. So we're going to do this, the two at once, but I've got three ideas for you of how you can get there. So don't worry, this always happens to me. So it happened to me on PlayStation when we were pitching our first piece of work when we just won the work. I remember everyone was so excited. We had this amazing TV ad. We thought the client's gonna love this. This is gonna knock their socks off. And when we were presenting the actual work to them, um, I remember seeing like the client, um, they just didn't seem that excited about it. And then when we heard their feedback, it was clear why. And what they were asking, they were saying to us, um, we really love the spot, but can you just show a bit of uh, the awards that this game's won? And then maybe show two people with the controller on on screen so they can see what the controller looks like. And we're like, oh my God, they're trying to stuff like a million messages into this one ad. And what I realized was the one thing I should have created before that and shown that before that was like a comms framework. And what a comms framework is, is it realizes that someone who's about to purchase something like a video game, the way they go through that is they're gonna have different questions at different moments and there's different me messages that we wanna tell them at different moments as well. So what we should have done, which we didn't, was say, hey, okay, we're gonna tell them, we're gonna hook them in on this amazing storyline to begin with. Then when they're closer in and they're about to make the purchase or they're reviewing this game versus this game, let's tell them about the awards then. And then when they're at um, at the store, that's an amazing time to tell, talk about the controller. So you'll often have different messages that you can tell at different times. What you're looking for with the strategy is what's the bigger message that we can tell? What's the overarching message um, that relates to the most times in their life? And so that's when we often use the benefit ladder and the comms framework sit side by side. So you've got living, looking, buying that they're the three kind of phases that you've got there. And you've got the same with the benefit ladder, which is features, benefit in the moment, and then your consumer goal or the emotional benefit. What's the bigger, higher order benefit that relates to more times in their life? That's why we living, you often, you know, in TV ads, we're often showing the emotional benefit because we realize, hey, they might not be thinking about buying a car right now, but they will be thinking about, um, you know, adventure or making sure that their life's not boring. So that message of adventure and, you know, Subaru and, and connecting it to being an adventurous person, that's going to be more relevant than there. So that's the first thing that you need to know. Second thing um, is if this is a client, take them through, ask them like, oh, let's look through like some of your most popular work, like the work that you love the most or you admire and that we would want to make ourselves. And if you take them through the spots that they love, what you're going to notice is that they're all going to be one message. The best creative ads always have an all strategy, always have one message in them. So once they see that, they're like, oh, okay, I understand why I can't have these three different messages in my my advertising. So I think those two things are the very first. The third thing I would say is look, just play devil's advocate and just choose one. And one of you, if you've got three messages, choose one and argue why that one over the other two are going to be so important. And so that's really going to help you um, to understand if you've got, if you've got one message or not. And and if you've got the right message, because you arguing, you can argue each one and then you realize, okay, there's got to be one that we we should choose here. And I would also say that the way I'd prioritize those messages is which is the higher order one, which is the more general idea that covers the most amount of time. So they're kind of the three techniques that you should use. So if you're trying to if you're trying to work out what one message you're trying to you, if you're trying to work out what one message you want to uh, communicate out of your strategy, the best thing that you can do, comms framework, 
then ask the client to look through different pieces of work and then see that there's only one message or then argue each side for that message. Hope that helps. Um, if you've got any other questions, hopefully Mustafa asked that in the YouTube comments. Hopefully that helps. Um, let me know if you've got any other questions. I'll be happy to help.